So they give us a rule about the quotient to a negative power. So let's say you have something like a over b, and you want to raise that whole thing to a negative exponent. Well, what you can do is you can just flip the inside, and then it'll make the positive exponent on the outside. So a went downtown, b went uptown, you know, and um, that's true. That can be a really handy rule to use sometimes. And by the way, a cannot equal 0 here, and b cannot equal 0. So, uh, But that's the rule. So if you have a quotient, but the outer exponent on it is negative, you can flip it. OK, so now they give us some examples. So it says simplify each expression. I like to take care of the, a lot of times, I like to take care of the negative exponents first. So I'm going to use that rule, and I'm going to flip it and make it 3 over 2 to the fourth power. OK, and then I'm going to make that 3 to the 4th power over 2 to the 4th power. I don't know that we've had that rule yet. Um, you wouldn't have to do it that way. You could write 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2, and all that's going to be equal to, well, you got to multiply the 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 81 over 16. That would be the answer. OK. Now, the next example it has variables in it. Notice that it's negative inside. That's OK. We're not going to take care of that negative. We're going to take care of this negative. So that's going to make this equal to negative n over m squared. Now, that's going to mean negative n over m times negative n over m, which is going to be a negative times negative is positive. So n times n is n squared over m squared. And then that would be the answer there. Okay.